Hi, I'm Bill Kleinitz, and today we're going to talk about a common issue, and that's water staining on fabrics. So let's get started. So as you can see, we've got a damaged seat here, and what happened was it was sitting in a warehouse. This is a 1960 T-Bird, so it sits in a car collection a lot of times, and there was a leak, and that leak actually started to leak from the headliner all the way down, and actually has discolored our seat now. So if you look around here, you can see an entire outline. And that's just where the, the water collected, and it's left a discoloration now after it dried. So for this instance, we're actually going to use a peroxide-based cleaner. And specifically, we're going to use Oxy. Oh, hold on. There it is. And what it does is it dries really fast, and it breaks off. It's not going to leave a stain behind. Um, like always, though, anytime you're going to do an interior clean on a fabric or even a leather, uh, you should really test for color fastness in an inconspicuous area. So especially when you're working with something older like this, it's, it's important to, to check for color fastness. So obviously this is our main area of focus where the stain is. But something important to remember is if I'm going to clean just this spot, likelihood is this is going to be the cleanest spot on the seat when I'm done. So yeah, this is where you want to focus. But in general, I'm going to do the whole thing just so it's cohesive across the entire surface. So at this point, I'm going to let this dwell for about two to three minutes. Um, if you notice that it looks like it's starting to dry a little bit, you can always add more oxy to, to re-wet it. Um, and after that, you know, about a minute and a half, two minute area, I like to go through with a brush. You kind of want a medium brush. You don't want it really, really hard. And you don't want it really, really soft either. And another thing to remember is look at the grain, the way that the fabric runs. You really don't want to go against that a lot, but it is important. You want cross hatching to occur. That way you're breaking loose all that debris and dirt inside there from every angle. But when you do your cross hatching, just be cognizant of this fabric, make sure that you're not damaging it, and be gentle with it. You know, you don't have to get in there and kill this. Just work it gently, take your time, and you'll get good results. And once I'm done scrubbing all of this, what I'll do is I'll come back over with my microfiber, and I'm just going to blot the seat. You really need to take your time with this. Set that thing down, little turn, lift, little turn, lift, and just kind of be methodical about it. And uh, I think that what you'll see is your final result's gonna be a little bit better than it would have been if you would have just kind of wiped this down and moved on. You know, you're gonna get a pretty decent result either way with that, but it's these little things that start to add up. And the more you start to do these little things, uh, your detail starts to get that much better. So we just got done taking the stains out of the seat, and we also went through and cleaned the other seats just so that they are all cohesive and clean. Um, we're gonna go through one more step now, and that's just using the new fabric coat. And what that is is it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a fabric protectant, and we're gonna spray it on all the fabric areas inside the vehicle, and it's as simple as spray and let dry. And what this will do is help repel water and any types of liquids that might, again, stain the seats. So now that we've gone through the car and cleaned it out with the OxyClean, we removed the stains, then we went in with the fabric coat and protected it so we won't have to worry about staining in the future, you know, we've really done a quick, easy detail on the interior. Not only that, but we've preserved this interior for a longer time to come. So if you have any questions, by all means, please ask, and like always, like and subscribe.